Thank you for joining me today. My name is Brittany and I'll be guiding us through this deep flow practice. Today we'll get started in the supine bound angle pose, Sutta Baddha So you make your way to your mat, coming onto your back, bringing your soles of your feet to touch and your knees out wide. You begin with your arms by your sides, your palms facing up. Take the first few moments here to wiggle around, adjust your pose as needed, maybe invite some props into your pose. And once you find a comfortable position, try to allow yourself to relax and find stillness. Bring your attention in towards your body. Noticing how you're feeling physically, mentally, emotionally today. It is currently summertime as I'm filming and I've been busy outdoors, biking, swimming, running, as many community members have been as well. And of course, with those fun activities come some tense and tired muscles. So today's practice, which I like to call my stretch it out practice, will be targeting a lot of those big muscle groups, such as your hamstrings, your quads, your glutes. And as we begin to move and flow through this practice, We'll end up in some postures that will hold and find a nice stretch. So you can bring your hands onto your belly. Just take a big breath in, filling up your belly like a balloon. And exhale, hug your navel to your spine. Two more times, inhale, fill up your belly. Exhale to release. One more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands up to your ribs. Inhale, expand your ribs wide. Exhale, contract your ribs in. Two more cycles of breath here. Inhale. Feel your ribs press into your palms. Exhale. Everybody can gently press your palms into your ribs. One last time. Big breath in. Filling up. Exhale. Emptying out. Walk your hands up to your chest. Fingers will reach to your collarbones. Inhale, take a big sip of breath in. Exhale, slowly release your breath. Two more times. Inhale, puff up your chest with the ceiling. Exhale, slowly release. One more time, breathing in. Slowly breathing out. Keep one hand on your chest, bring one hand back to your belly, and we'll knit all three motions together. Inhaling to your belly, your ribs, your chest. And exhale out of your chest, your ribs, and your belly. Continue to breathe like this. Letting your breath move through your body like a wave. Connecting with your Durga breath, your three-part breath. Just helps to slow your mind and calm your body. With your next inhale, begin to reach your arms up over your head. Extend your legs long down your mat for a full body stretch. Try to reach your fingertips far away from your toes. Take another sip of breath in. And exhale, curl your knees into your chest. Give your legs a hug here. You 
you might bite the sway into your body, swaying side to side, massaging the muscles along your spine. You can slow this movement down. Bring your hands to the back side of your knees. Start to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine, the length of your mat. Gaining momentum when you're ready at the top. Start to cross your ankles. Plant your hands and shift forward to a tabletop. You can stack your shoulders over your wrists. Hips will come over your knees. Your spine's nice and long. With an inhale, start to drop your belly low to your mat. Tilt your tailbone and chest up high. And then exhale, round your spine, press your hand to your mat, gaze to your belly button. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze for cow pose. Exhale, coil in, tuck your chin to your chest for cat. Continue to flow here, moving as fast or as slow as you like. You can keep your eyes open or begin to soften your gaze. Close your eyes, really tapping into the sensations in your body. And if you'd like, you can add in any little patterns of movement here. It's really helping to wake up your spine, your shoulders, and your hips. One more full cycle of breath. Come to meet in a tabletop, a neutral spine. Once again, with your inhale, reach your crown out in front of you. And with an exhale, begin to draw your right shoulder and right hip close towards one another, creating a C shape in your spine. Inhale through center. Exhale, C shape to the left. Inhale through table. We'll do this two more times on each side. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, exhale, bend to the left. Just one more time, moving as fast or as slow as your breath will take you. From your tabletop, with your inhale, begin to lift your right fingertips up towards the sky. Now exhale, wrap your arm around your belly. It's like you're giving yourself a hug. Two more times to your inhale, float your fingertips up. Exhale, brush your arm down to your mat. Inhale, twist open. This time with your exhale, thread your right arm underneath the left, resting on your right shoulder and your right cheek for thread the needle. You can keep your left hand where it is. Maybe extend your arm out in front of you. You can lift your left arm up towards the ceiling, deepening your twist. Or option to bring your hands to your low back for a bind. Noticing the sensations in your shoulders, your back. And try to send your breath there to find some space and some ease. If you are in a bind, inhale, lift your arm up to the sky. And everyone with your exhale, plant your hands to your mat, rise back up to a tabletop. Root down through your right palm, inhale, begin to lift your left fingertips up towards the ceiling, the sky. Exhale, wrap your arm around your body. Inhale to reach up, you can gaze to your fingertips. Exhale, drop your hands down to your mat. Last cycle, inhale, rotate your chest to the sky. And exhale, thread your left arm underneath the right to thread the needle. We'll pause here. Coming to any variation with your right arm. Could be your twist or your bind. If it feels like you are collapsing forward into your neck, your shoulders, you just draw your head slightly back behind you. If you are in a bind, then inhale, unwrap your arm, reach your 
approach with the feeling. Exhale, plant your hands to your mat, rise back up to a tabletop. Start to spread your fingers wide, curl your toes into the floor, and press your hips up and back behind you for a downward facing dog. We can find some movement here, begin to bend one knee, followed by the other, pedaling your legs out. Adding in whatever movements help to wake up your body. That might be a shake in your head, a little sway in your hips. Taking your time, whatever you are feeling ready, more energized in your body, you can slow your movements down, settling into your downward facing dog. Try to press really firmly through your fingertips and the knuckles of your hands. Rotating your biceps to face forward, triceps roll back. And your gaze can either be closed or you can settle your gaze between your feet back behind you. With an inhale, start to look forward from the palms to your toes. So exhale, bend your knees and tiptoe to the front of your mat for a forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift, reach your crown away from your hips. Exhale, release. Two more times here. Inhale, create a flat back. Exhale to fold in. Last one, inhale, halfway lift, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, release, and come into your rag dog. Bring your hands to opposite elbows. Bend your knees as much as you need so your chest can rest near or against your thighs. Just let your head hang heavy here. If it feels good to hang in stillness, you can do so. Or perhaps you'd like to sway your upper body. You can shake your head no, shake your head yes, releasing tension from your neck to your shoulders. All the while continuing to breathe nice and deep. Slow in your movements. Release your elbows, ground down to the four corners of your feet. We need to roll up to stand, moving one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Inhale, reach your arms up high towards the ceiling, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart center, equal standing pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, hinge at your hips and dive forward, your heart leading the way. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, plant your hands, step your feet to plank, drop your knees to your mat and lower to your belly. Untuck your toes, keep your hands where they are, inhale for a baby cobra, just lifting your chest. Exhale to release back down. You can shift your hands by your ribs, inhale through a tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, taking five sides of the breath here. Whenever we return to our down dog, you can stay in stillness. You can invite some movement into your pose. Or you can drop your knees to your mat, hips to your heels for a child's pose, taking a little rest. Inhale, gaze to your fingers, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and step to the top of your mat for a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hug your belly button up to your spine. Exhale to release. Root down, rise up tall as you inhale. Exhale, palms touch and lower to your heart. Equal standing pose, samasthiti. Inhale, sweep your arms up high to the ceiling. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, plant your hands, step your feet to plank, option to drop your knees, lower to your belly. 
Inhale for a baby or a full cobra, extending your arms. Exhale, transition back to your down dog, however you'd like to go. Three cycles of breath. Moving through one more sun style A. Inhale, gauge the top of your mat, tie your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop, forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale, create a flat back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up tall, scoop your arms high to the sky. Exhale, palms touch and lower to your heart in an Anjali Mudra. Inhale, sweep your arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, reach your crown out in front of you. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop to plank, lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale to lift your chest, cobra or up dog, floating your hips and your thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whenever we come to a flow, to a vinyasa, you can take any of those variations that you'd like. You can mix and match. And as well, you can skip the flow entirely, pressing straight back to your down dog. Inhale, gaze forward, high your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, breathe out, fold. Root down, rise up tall, reach for the sky. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart center. This time, start to interlace your fingers, flip your palms to face up, or extend out. With your exhale, begin to side bend towards the right. Inhale, rise to center. Exhale, release your grip and swan dive forward. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, keep your right foot where it is, step your left foot far back. Drop your left knee to your mat. And begin to lift your chest, lift your arms up high for your low lunge. With your inhale, see if you can lift the crown of your head up high, lengthening your spine. With your exhale, you might like to sink a little bit deeper here into your hips. You might feel some sensation in the front of your left thigh, your hip flexor. You can play with the expression of your arms, your biceps might stay up by your ears. Your hands can connect to your heart. Maybe hands come to your thighs, finding some support. Just take one more big breath in. With your exhale, plant your hands, lift your left knee, step your right foot to plank and take your flow. Exhale to lower down. Inhale, lift your chest, shine your heart. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right heel high to the ceiling. Exhale, round your knee to your nose and step your foot between your hands. Drop your right knee to your mat. Inhale, circle your arms high up. Low lunge pose. With your inhale, lengthen. With your exhale, sink your hips low. Taking some time here to find the expression that feels best for your body today. You could have your gaze forward, keeping a neutral spine. Or you can begin to lift your gaze up towards the ceiling, cultivating a back bend. Whichever expression you're in, try to keep a strong core here by hugging your belly button in towards your spine. Take a sip of breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, lift your right knee, Step your right foot forward into a fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Root down, rise up tall, breathe in. Breathe out, palms lower to your heart. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, scoop your palms to face the sky. 
Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Keep your left foot where it is. Step your right foot back. Drop your knee. Inhale, rise up to your low lunge. With your exhale, lower your hands to your mat. Root down through your right palm, either on a block or on the mat. And as you inhale, begin to lift your left fingertip up towards the ceiling for a low lunge twist. With every inhale here, try to reach your crown forward, lengthening your spine. With every exhale, engage the muscles in your belly, try to deepen your twist. Inhale, gaze up to your left fingertip. Exhale to plant your hands, lift your right knee, step your left foot to plank, vinyasa flow. Exhale, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, sweep your right heel up high. Breathe out, round your knee forward, Plant your foot between your hands, drop your left knee. One breath, inhale, rise up to your low lunge. Exhale, connect your palms to your mat. Root down through your left hand, inhale, right fingertips will float to the sky. Low lunge twist. You can keep your back knee down on your mat. Or if you'd like to fire this pose up, you can tuck your left toes and lift your left knee. Inhale, gaze up to the sky. Exhale, plant your right hand, step your left foot forward into a fold. Inhale, create a flat back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up tall to stand. Bring your biceps by your ears. Exhale, circle your hands behind your back and interlace your fingers for a bind. If you do have a strap with you, you might prefer to bring the strap between your hands instead. Start to draw your bind down towards your heels. Press your hips forward. Lift your chest and then begin to lift your gaze for a standing locust pose. If you're feeling some tension here in your low back, try to draw your tailbone down towards your heels. And with every inhale, try to fill up your chest with air. One more big, expansive breath in. And with your exhale, begin to bend into your knees, hinge at your hips, fold forward, but keep your bind. Let your head hang heavy here. You might give it a little shake. With your bind, you might like to sway side to side, your upper body. Just noting the stretch here in the front of your shoulders, your chest. Notice how this feels, your back, your shoulder blades. Inhale to a halfway lift, release your bind. Exhale, plant your hands, keep your right foot where it is, step your left foot far back. Drop your left knee, low lunge, inhale, rise up for one breath. Exhale, plant your hands to your mat. Try to glue your right knee right beside your right um, shoulder. You might even bring it in towards your armpit. Keeping your right foot planted down to your mat, start to press your hips back behind you, starting to lengthen your right leg. And just pause wherever you start to feel a nice stretch in your hamstring or your IT band, the outer edge of your right thigh. You might have still a huge bend in your leg, that is okay. The main goal here is just try to find a nice stretch for your body. Rather than coming to full extension. 
With an inhale, shift forward, lunge to your right knee. Exhale, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee off your mat, and step your right foot to plank. Take your flow. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, sweep your left heel up high. Breathe out and step your left foot forward. Drop your right knee down, low lunge, inhale, circle your arms up high. And exhale, plant your hands down to your mat. Draw your left knee right beside your left shoulder. Plant your toes into your mat and then start to draw your hips back behind you, starting to lengthen your left leg. Pausing where you feel that stretch. You may notice that you can extend this leg a little bit longer. Or maybe your leg is still quite bent compared to the right side and that's okay. We tend to have imbalances in our body. With an inhale, shift forward into your left knee. Exhale, tuck your right toes, lift your knee off your mat, step your right foot forward into a fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reach your crown forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up tall to stand, biceps by your ears. And exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Drop your right fingertips to your mat, bend into your right knee and lift your left arm up high to the sky for a low lunge twist. Three cycles of breath. Not a low lunge twist, just a forward fold twist. One more breath in. And exhale, plant your left fingertips down. Bend to your left knee, straighten your right leg. Inhale, reach your right arm up high to your ceiling for a twist. Like your low lunge twist, with your inhale, try to lengthen your spine. With your exhale, see if you can deepen your twist. One more sip of breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, lengthen both legs. Inhale for a halfway lift, hug your belly button up to your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, keep your left toward it, step your right foot far back. Drop your knee down, inhale, low lunge, lift your chest. This time with your exhale, pivot your right foot, right low leg, over to the left edge of your yoga mat. Open your arms wide at the horizon, and your chest and hips will start to face towards the right side. Coming to a modified warrior two. With an inhale, start to drop your right fingertips either down to a block or all the way down to your mat. And lift your left arm up over your head for a modified reverse warrior. Try to reach far out from your left fingertip. Feeling a lengthening, a stretching in the left side of your body. One more expansive breath in. As you exhale, engage your belly, rise back up to your center. Start to tilt your body forward, plant your left hand to the inside of your left foot, and your right arm will reach up high to the sky, modified extended side angle. You can keep your arm reaching high, or if you prefer, bring your hands to your low back for a half bow. With every cycle of breath here, see if you can draw your right shoulder slightly back behind you, helping to rotate your chest, your heart up to the sky. If you're in a bind, inhale, reach your arm up, and everyone reach your arm forward. And exhale, plant your hands to your mat, bring your right leg back behind you, square your hands to the outside of your leg, Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, step your left foot to plank, option to flow. Reminding yourself that you can press straight back to down.
down dog, if that's what your body is craving. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Drop your left knee, low lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, pivot your left low leg towards the right side of your mat. Open your arms wide into a T. Open into your modified warrior two. Then with your next inhale, start to drop your left hand back behind you. Your right arm will circle up over your head. Modified reverse warrior. Try to reach out through your right fingertip. And try to keep your right hip sinking forward and down in front of you. Feeling a really nice stretch along the entire right side of your body. Last breath in. Exhale, rise up to center. Plant your right hand down to the inside of your right foot. Lift your left arm up high. Modified extended side angle. Your gaze might be down towards your mat, towards the side wall, or up to your lifted fingertips, whatever feels best for your neck. With an inhale, begin to sweep your left arm forward. On exhale, plant your hands, rotate your left leg back behind you, bring your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step your foot forward into a fold. Nice work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Root down, rise up tall, extend and mountain, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart center. Start to step your feet about mat width apart. Your toes will be pointing out, heels are pointing in. As you inhale, sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, begin to bend into your knees, lowering your hips down towards your mat. Coming to Malasana, Yogi Squat. You can stay here with your hips floating. If you do have some sort of a prop, you might like to bring that beneath your hips for some support. As well, you might choose to set your hips down to your mat your feet planted down to the ground in front of you. Whichever expression you are in, try to press your elbows into your knees. Knees will press into your elbows, feeling the stretch in the inner edge of your hips, your thighs. And see so if you can draw your hips slightly forward, your chest slightly back. This will help to lengthen your spine. Two more cycles of breath here, breathing through the heat in your hips. One more breath in. And as you exhale, plant your hands, lift your hips, and pivot your feet to face forward, coming to a wide-legged fold. You can shift your hips side to side, helping to stretch the inner edge of your thighs, your groin. And you can toe heel your feet slightly wider. Draw your toes out, heels in, bend into your knees and walk your hands up to your thighs, lifting your shoulders over your hips, coming to a goddess squat. When you're feeling ready, bring your arms up into a cactus shape for your full goddess pose. Finding a little side body stretch here. Drop your right forearm down to your right thigh and begin to lift your left arm up over your head. Holding for one more full cycle of breath. Then with an inhale, rise back up to center. Exhale, left forearm to left thigh. Right arm will reach up and over your head. Side body stretch. With your inhale, return to center. Exhale, keep your legs as they are, but drop your hands to your mat. Start to walk your hands forward in front of you like you're coming into a down dog. Press through your palms, press your hips back behind you, helping to lower your chest towards your mat. Two 
two more cycles of breath, feeling to stretch some work in your thighs. Then you begin to walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, pivot your feet to face forward, and then just toe heel your feet to hip width apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale, rise up tall, extend the mountain, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Breathe into your halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, plant your hands, keep your right foot where it is, step your left foot far back. Drop your knee, inhale, low lunge, sweep up. Exhale, plant your hands down. Come into a low lunge twist, root through your left palm, lift your right fingertips up high. So we were here before earlier in the practice. If you like this expression, you can stay as you are, or you can join me in a quad stretch. For your quad stretch, begin to lift your left heel in towards your hips as you circle your right hand behind you. You might be able to catch hold of your left foot with your right hand. If you're just a centimeter or so away, it might help by bringing a block, a prop underneath your left hand. And as well, this is a great time to use a strap if you have one. Rather than trying to pull your foot into your body with your arm, try to engage the muscles in your hamstrings to draw your foot in. And then without slingshotting your foot, gently release your leg down. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. And exhale, plant your hand down to the inside of your right foot. Start to toe heel your right foot wide. You might even come off of your mat, creating space for your hips and your pelvis as we come into our lizard stance. If you notice that your right knee is coming forward and in front of your right toes, and just try to shift your body back slightly. And I'll start to play with the different expressions here. You can stay as you are, with your hands under your shoulders, your left knee on the mat. You might prefer to tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. You could drop your forearms down to a prop or all the way down to your mat. You can keep your right foot planted with your right knee hugging in towards your right shoulder. Or you can roll to the pinky edge of your right foot and your knee will splay to the side. This pose can be very challenging for a lot of body. And if that is the case for you today, try to really focus in on your breath. Helping to take your mind away from the discomfort that you may be experiencing. And with an inhale, start to rise back up onto your hands. Drop your right foot down to your mat. And then start to shift your hips back behind you, lengthening your right leg and flexing your toes to the ceiling for a half split pose. Both your hands can stay to the inside of your right leg, or if you prefer, you can bring your right hand to the outside of your right leg. Just noting the stretch here in your right hamstring. And trying to send your breath to those tight spots. Finding some space. With an inhale, walk your hands forward. Exhale, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step your right foot to plank, vinyasa. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift your chest, shine your heart. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, step or hop, forward fold. Halfway lift, reach your crown forward. Exhale to release. Inhale, extend and mount to reach for the sky. Exhale, palms touch and lower to your heart. Step your feet mat width apart, toes out, heels in. Stand up tall as you inhale. Exhale, sink low to your malasana, your yogi squat. 
Just three cycles of breath here. Your eyes can stay open. You can close your eyes. Noticing how this feels for your hips. One more breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, lift your hips, pivot your feet forward to a fold. And shift your hips left and right, giving your legs a stretch. And when you are ready, toe heel your feet slightly wider, pointing your toes out, your heels in, bending your knees, walking your hands up your thighs, returning to your goddess stance. You can open your arms, coming to your full expression of goddess, and perhaps sinking a little lower this time. Coming to our side body stretch, we start on the left. Exhale, left forearm to thigh, right arm will reach up and over. Moving a little quicker this time, inhale through center. Exhale, right forearm to thigh, left arm will sweep over. Inhale through center. With your exhale, keep your legs in your goddess pose, hands to your mat. Walk your hands forward, press through your palm, and draw your hips back behind you for a goddess downward facing dog. You might feel some stretch here in your glutes, in the outer edge of your thighs. Start to walk your hands under your shoulders, pivot your feet to face forward, and then toe heel your feet to hip width apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise up tall, biceps by your ears. Exhale, hinge and fold, heart leading the way. Inhale, halfway lift, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, plant your hands, keep your left foot where it is, right foot steps back. Drop your knee to your mat, inhale, low lunge pose, rise up. Exhale, drop your hands down to the ground. Lift your left fingertips up towards the ceiling, low lunge twist. Maybe staying here, or playing with your quad stretch. Bending your right leg so your heel will lift and sweep your left arm behind you. Notice if it might help today to use a prop. You can do so. If you do have hold of your foot with your strap, with your hand, you might also start to feel a stretch here in your shoulders and your chest. Start to gently release your right foot down. Inhale, lift your left arm up high. Exhale, plant your hand to the inside of your left foot. Start to toe heel your left foot slightly wider. And then take some time here to come into your lizard pose on the left. Your right knee can be lowered or lifted. You might stay on your hands or drop to your forearms. Your left foot can stay grounded down to your mat. Or you can pivot your toes slightly to the left and roll to the pinky edge of your left foot. Just notice how this pose feels on the left side of your body compared to the right. Even notice how this pose feels today compared to when you last did it. Try to not bring any negative talk into your mind if perhaps you're not going as deep as you normally do. But rather just acknowledge how you are feeling today and try to honor your body, giving it what it needs. And start to rise up onto your hands and you're on your forearms. Plant your left foot to down to the ground. And start to draw your hips back behind you as you lengthen your left leg. Flexing your toes to the ceiling, coming to a half split pose. Just two more breaths here. Inhale, walk your 
hands forward, lunge into your knee. Exhale, tuck your right toes, lift your knee off your mat, step your left foot to plank, and last time to flow. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lifting your chest. Exhale, down dog. Drop your knees to your mat and lower your hips down to your heels for a child's pose. Your knees can be nice and wide or your knees can be touching. Your arms can be reaching forward or bring your arms down by the sides of your body. Just noticing how you are feeling here. Perhaps you're feeling a bit more energized or a bit more open in your body. Notice the flow of your breath. It's a little bit fast. You can try to slow it out. And begin to press yourself up. Shift your hips over to one side and circle your legs forward. Draw your hips in towards your heels so your legs are bent, feet are planted. You can reach your arms forward to the horizon as you breathe in. And as you exhale, begin to lower down one vertebrae at a time until you're resting on your back. Drop your hands by your hips, palms will be facing down. And then adjust your feet so they're about hip width apart with your heels stacked underneath your knees. Ground down through your hands, ground down through the soles of your feet, and as you inhale, lift your hips up high for a bridge pose. You might stay exactly as you are. You might bring a prop underneath your hips, your low back, your sacrum for a bit of support. Or if you'd like to come deeper into this back bend expression, you can interlace your fingers behind your back and walk your shoulder blades close to one another. Try to engage your quads, engage your glutes, helping to lift your hips. One more breath in. As you exhale, lower your hips to your mat, step your feet mat width apart, and windshield wipe your knees side to side, releasing tension from your low back. We'll do one more back bend pose. You can come into your bridge, hands by your hips, or you can take a wheel pose with that in your practice today, hands by your ears. Whenever you're ready, with an inhale, rise up into your back bend. About five breaths here. On that fifth breath, keep the biggest inhale yet. Then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, lower your hips down. Supine bound angle pose, Supta Baddha Konasana. Hands can be by your sides, palms facing up. Or connect one hand to your chest and one hand to your belly. Coming in full circle back to where we started the practice. You can notice how you're feeling now compared to the start. Begin to slow things down again. You can start to draw your knees towards one another, closing them like a book. And then just step your feet down to the mat. Knees are bent. With an inhale, begin to lift your right foot up high to the ceiling. Exhale, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, coming to a figure four shape. Keep a flex in your right foot to protect your knee. You can stay here. You might bring your right fingertips to your knee and gently press it away from your upper body. Or begin to draw your left knee into your chest 
And your hands will wrap around your left thigh or left shin. And whichever variation that you are in, you might like to sway side to side. And if your left foot is floating, begin to drop it down to the mat. Open your arms wide into the T as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, drop your legs over to the left so the sole of your right foot will plant. You can begin to drop your gaze over to your right fingertips, deepening your twist for a supine twist. Notice the ebb and flow of your breath. If your right foot is floating, put your lower back down to the ground. Open your arms into a T, fill up with your inhale. Exhale, drop your leg to the right so the sole of your left foot plants and gaze to your left fingertips, supine twist. With your inhale, try to fill up your belly. With your exhale, feel yourself twisting deeper. Inhale, back through center, lifting your legs, your gaze. Scoop your left heel to the sky. Exhale, drop your foot down. Coming to a happy baby pose, draw your knees in towards your armpits. Lift the soles of your, feelings, the soles of your feet to the ceiling and catch hold of the inner or outer edges of your feet. You might sway side to side, rocking your baby. And if this pose is not feeling so good today, you might prefer to drop your feet to your mat, bring them out with apart. You can tent your knees in towards one another. Open your arms into a T with an inhale. And exhale, giving yourself a hug with one arm crossing over top of the other. Helping find a neutralizing position for your spine. If you are in your happy baby, you might like to lengthen one leg out, followed by the other. Maybe take a straddle happy baby with your peace fingers to your big toes and your legs will lengthen. You can start to slow your movements down. 
Release your feet and curl your knees into your chest. Give your legs a big hug here. Draw your forehead up towards your knees, squeezing into a tight ball. Take a sip of breath in. And exhale, open and expand to your corpse pose, Shavasana. Give yourself permission to expand your arms and legs nice and wide. Maybe even off of your mat. Wiggle around if needed. Maybe bring a pillow, a bolster underneath your knees. And start to relax down to your mat. Let the benefits of the practice wash over you here, the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Feeling the support of your mat beneath you, cradling you here. Take a big breath in through your nose, filling up. Exhale, sigh out your mouth. One more clearing breath. Inhale, nice and big. Exhale to release. Seal your lips together. And allow your natural breath to return to your body. Start to feel yourself growing heavier and heavier. And if you're noticing any areas that are still feeling a little bit tight or tense, and imagine that you're washing that tension away with every exhale. Begin to bring your attention back into your body. Starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes to life. Circling your wrists, your ankles. You draw your gaze side to side. And with an inhale, reach your arms up over your head, stretching out. Exhale, curl your knees into your chest and roll to either side of your body, coming to a fetal pose. Just take a moment to pause here. And whenever you are feeling ready, start to press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. 
keeping your eyes closed or your gaze soft, and bring your hands to meet at your heart center. Just take this moment to reflect back in on your practice. Noticing a feeling of bliss, of relaxation, of ease. Whichever word resonates with you the most, try to hold on to this feeling and carry it with you throughout the rest of your day, the rest of your week. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.